we've now come to what an electromagnetic spectrum is all about at the time of maxwell only the visible light light was the known electromagnetic wave okay but as the time passed more and more waves got added to the system and then by the end of the of the century uh, of the of the 19th century we had gamma rays x rays microwaves all of them got detected so much so that microwaves start getting used at the time of world war in radars okay so 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 later it turned out that ultimately ultimately the the radio waves the microwaves okay the infrared visible visible rays or, or I'll, i should say visible light visible to human beings obviously ultraviolet x rays gamma rays got added to the to the spectrum of waves of electromagnetic waves emw okay all of them have different usage in the modern world but to study them we again go into a classification which we have been doing in biology which we have been doing in in chemistry the same kind of classification we do for for electromagnetic waves and and that is known as electromagnetic spectrum okay we have been taught what are the spectrum of colors spectrum of colors are the rainbow because because that is the variation that you get in the visible light this in a similar manner is electromagnetic spectrum here the diversity of electromagnetic waves is what we are concerned about okay so so we classify them according to the frequency so the classification of electromagnetic waves according to the frequency is called electromagnetic spectrum okay this this is the frequency and the corresponding wavelength is on the right hand side and how does it correspond the correspondence is pretty similar c is uh, is pretty simple c is equal to nu lambda so if i want to find out lambda i have to take the speed of light and divide it by the frequency this we already know right so the right hand side is nothing but but lambda which is given by c upon nu where nu is this okay now we we classify the waves according to their frequency 
okay? We classify them according to their frequency and this classification is not so strict. The, the classification is not so strict. Why? Because they are based less on the watertight compartment of frequency and more on the way the waves are produced or detected. Okay? As it is based on based on the way the waves are produced or detected okay but yes all said and done these waves do find their applications in a particular kind of kind of usage so 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 there uh, for example the long radio waves or or am radio they are normally used for for communication on the transistor okay and and these short radio waves the, it is in that range that we transmit the tv signals okay about 59 60 megahertz fm radio is somewhere around 100 megahertz okay Short radio waves is above that. Microwaves <coughs> is is some some gigahertz, and then comes your infrared. Infrared is the frequency. Infra means below. Okay, and so 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 this is named as per the frequency. The infra and the ultra. Infra means below. Below what? The visible. Frequency below the visible is infra. Frequency above the visible is ultra. Above that is X-ray and, and X-ray and ultraviolet and X-ray and gamma rays, you see they overlap. Ultraviolet <coughs> moves into the region of X-ray, X-ray, um, gamma rays and X-rays, they also overlap. X-rays and ultraviolet overlap, okay? And X-rays, they find the use as, as? In medical. In medical, mostly for, for taking the, the, on the x-ray of of bones to detect any visible cracks or fractures okay gamma rays they are used as uh, in 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 treatment of cancer to bombard the cancerous cells they are able to kill the cells but but they have got some other adverse effects also because they are they, they also kill the the normal cells and and above that is hard gamma rays that is not shown here Okay, they are extremely dangerous. Even gamma rays are dangerous. If it falls on the human body, it has got long-lasting impacts. And, and, a, and a lot of gamma rays and hard gamma rays are produced in nuclear explosions. And that is what causes genetic mutations in the population on which it has been carried out. So, so in our... In our um, memory the Hiroshima and Nagasaki are the other cities and the people of those places are still the children that are born are still genetically mutated okay it is due to the x-rays and the gamma rays also ultraviolet because ultraviolet that gets produced in the nuclear bomb uh, say that does not have the luxury of getting filtered by ozone okay so so, so this is the spectrum. Now we'll individually start discussing the waves one by one. Okay, what their usage is, how they are produced, how they are detected, and what is their usage. That is what is normally the, the focus of the examinations.